God for all ages. I pray that it reaches your heart. I pray that it makes you laugh. And I pray that it makes you think. He got anything going for him. Oh, girl, let's not be too quick to judge. You ladies okay? I'm blessed. Did you know that sin is a gateway drug? Huh? <laughs> yeah, sin is a gateway drug. All things wicked can be traced back to it. Now, come, come, Lisa. Don't be so hard on this man. Yeah, Lisa, give me a little break. I was just saying hi. Oh, hold your peace, because you don't know me. Now, now, you two. Let's not get all worked up. Well, this guy started it, coming out of nowhere, looking like he's living underneath the bridge, and smelling like he ain't washed in two lifetimes. <laughs> Talking about, hey, ladies. You two are a mess. Sir, how are you doing today? Oh, oh I, I, I'm all right. I, I'm making it. What you making? You seem like you're looking for something. You seem like you're looking for something more than what life is offering you. <laughs> yeah, like a bath. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, ma'am. Now, now that you asked, I was, a, I was a little low on money and I was wondering if I could. See, I knew it. Another bum begging for money. I knew it. <gasps> wait, wait, sir. Hold on. Girl, what you doing? Let him go. Sir, I don't have any money. But what I do have, I will give to you freely. Uh, uh, what you gonna give him? Girl, don't give this fool nothing. Anyways, what you got? Do you have a minute? You see, I believe the Lord is God. I believe that the Lord has brought you, sir, and you, Lisa. I believe this will open your eyes. Girl, there's nothing wrong with my eyes. What you talking about? Seriously, sister, have a seat. Let me share something from God. She will now be reading Luke 16, 19 through 31. <coughs> See, there once was a certain rich man who was clothed in purple and fine linen, and he ate good every day. And there was a certain beggar named Lazarus who was laying at the rich man's gate, full of sores and very sick. This beggar was so hungry that he would even eat the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table. Even the dogs would come and lick the beggar man's sores. But it came to pass that one day the beggar man died. And he was carried away by the angels into the covenant of God that was made through Abraham. Now soon after that, the rich man died too and was buried. See, now this rich man, he went to hell. And when he got there, he lifted up his eyes and was in agony and suffering. And he saw God in heaven and the beggar man Lazarus was in God's arms. And the rich man cried and said, Father God, have mercy on me. Please send that beggar man to hell, where I am, that he may dip his finger in your water, just to cool my tongue. For I am suffering in this fire. But Jesus said, my child, remember that in your lifetime, you had everything you wanted. But this beggar man that was at your gate, he had nothing and suffered much. But he was comforted. And Jesus also said to that rich man, besides the space between heaven and hell, has a line that divides the two. So neither can be crossed once you are judged. So that those that sin and die and go to hell, they stay in torment. 
And they that know and love God and do righteous, they go to heaven. No one can cross from heaven to hell, nor can those in hell go up to heaven. Then the rich man asked God, I pray to you, Lord, would you send someone to my father's house? For I have five brothers, and I need them to be warned, because I don't want them to end up like me, suffering here. And then Jesus said to that rich man, your brothers had Moses and the prophets, and the apostles. Let them hear those God has sent. And the rich man quickly answered, Please, Lord, no. They are stubborn like me. If you would just send someone who has died and bring them back as a ghost, then they would believe and repent from doing wrong against God anymore. And Jesus said to the rich man again, if they didn't hear Moses, or the prophets, or my apostles, then neither will they be persuaded. Even if I raise one, just one from the dead, to speak to them about being good. Are you saying the rich man, because he was greedy, and because he judged people, and wouldn't help the needy, that he didn't make it into heaven? I read somewhere in the Bible, that even Jesus didn't come to the world to judge it, but to save us. Oh, so you read, huh? Bet you never even picked up a Bible. Now, now, Lisa. Sir, you're talking about the scripture in the Bible. John chapter 12, 47 through 48. So, so does that mean Jesus can save me? Hey. In John chapter 316, it says that God so loved us all that he gave his only son. Wow, girl, how and when did you get God? Because that was deep. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, Apostle Olive, uh, can Jesus save me? I mean, I, I haven't prayed and, and I haven't talked to God in years. Not only can God save you, but he can put a goodness in your life. His wonderful goodness. Mm, girl, I need some God. Can he help me too? God loved all who turned back to him. Now if you want, I'll pray for you both. And if you seriously want God and give up your ways and ask God to forgive you, God will forgive you and begin to love you as you love him. Will you, will you, pray, for, will you pray for me? Me too. Will you pray for me? I ask that everyone bow their head in agreement. Now, dear Lord, I pray for those who need you, Lord. I pray for those who solely in their heart want to seek you, to find you. And I pray for you to open up their hearts and open up their eyes yes. so they can truly see who you are and your wonderful goodness. Dear Heavenly Father, I also pray for the children and the elders that they have God. And you give them the strength to hold on. Just keep their spirits lifted in your mighty name. And finally, Lord, I pray and give thanks to you, God. Yes, Father. I thank you, God, for all your wonderful works you have done through all of us, Lord. And the wonderful words that you always bestow upon us daily to encourage those and open up the hearts and eyes of others. We just want to glorify your mighty name, Lord. Yes. And I just want to thank you in many ways for being able to let us walk our walk and walk our way through you, Lord. And just having you in us. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. And I just pray for everyone here, Lord. And just thank you, Lord. Thank you. And want you to know how much we love you with all our heart and all our soul. Yes. And we love you like nobody else. We just want to thank you, Lord, for giving us that opportunity, Father. Yes. Yes. Because we know that the one person we need to love solely is you, Father. Yes. And we just want to thank you. Bless the Lord and amen. Amen. I hope y'all enjoy it. Y'all gotta yeah. give me today. Don't worry. I, I'm dressed like a mom, but I'm honest. Okay. What I, I've been before I knew the Lord and what I am. Don't hit the button. Okay. But I just think.
a lot of time. I feel like that begging me. Because um, I never wanted to listen to the Lord. And uh, he has blessed me so deep. And uh, I know that he has blessed every single, and each and every one of you guys. And his goodness, we can't even imagine. His goodness is so good to us all. I tell you guys again, man, he pulled me from a place everybody else had given up on me. And the ones that could pray, they prayed as hard as they could. But the Lord, he, he pulled me up and he made me worthy. And only in him am I worthy. Only are we all worthy in him. He is just so wonderful. And Jesus Christ, our Lord, is coming back very soon. He is coming to get the ones who God has called to him. And he's keeping every single one of us. So we must hold on. And we must realize how good God has been to each and every single one of us. No matter what goes on around you, just remember how good God has been to you. And we got a second, so if you will, I'm going to take and read something real quick to you guys. And uh, do we have a, do we have a uh, time up or do we have a Proverbs 27, 1 says, Pride not yourself on what you will do tomorrow, for you know not what today may bring forth. We must prepare ourselves. Thus saith the Lord, Listen to me, you that pursue after righteousness, you that seek the Lord. You should look unto Jesus from which you are saved, and remember the whole of the pit from which I have dug you out from. Amen. Shake yourself from the dust Arise and listen For my watchman shall lift up his voice In the midst of my people In the days in which I shall restore my temple In this day In this day Is the scripture fulfilled in your ears Truly I say unto you all That this generation shall not pass Till all these things be done Be warned Watch and pray for you know not when that time is. Pay attention, for you know not when the Lord cometh, whether it will be at night or in the morning. And what I say unto you, I say unto all, watch. Let no one deceive you, because they say that they have God. For many shall say that in the last days, that they have Jesus, yet they will be lying. And you shall hear about wars and talks of wars, but let not that worry you. Because all these things will happen before the end comes. Nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be starvation and disease and earthquakes in many different places. And all these things are the beginning of tribulation. This know also, in the last days difficult times shall come. For people shall be lovers of their own selves. And they shall take what they strongly desire by any means. They shall be proud and turn their backs on God. They will be disobedient to their elders, unthankful and unholy. They shall not know true love, God's love. And they shall falsely accuse, have no self-control, and hate those who do have God. They will be lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God. And they will act like they have God, yet never having that power within, which is the Holy Spirit of the Lord. From these such people, turn away from them. For just as in the days of Noah, so shall it also be when the Lord returns. They will all be eating and drinking, marrying and getting married. And just as before the flood came upon the earth, they will not repent, nor turn back to God. But they will be taken away and not even know it. And so shall it be when the Lord returns. Be also mindful that there shall come in the last days mockers walking after their own strong desires. And they will mock you and say, where is your Lord? I thought he promised you that he was coming back. But of times and seasons, brethren, should you not worry on it. For you yourselves know full well that the day of the Lord shall come as a thief of the night. For when they shall all be saying peace and security, all of a sudden destruction shall come upon them. 
as birth pains upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. I beg you, brethren, be not in the dark that that day should surprise you as a thief. Be not asleep as the unbelievers, but be watchful and be mindful of the Lord's coming. And keep in good faith that God has not appointed us for his fury, but he has called us so that we may continue to hold firm our salvation, which is through Jesus Christ. And keep in good faith that the Lord himself shall come down from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trumpet of God, and the dead shall rise first. And they that which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Amen. 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 Bless the Lord. Apostles, y'all want to finish it off? Pray us out. This is y'all show. I'm going to hide something. I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel unclothed. Ask everybody to bow their heads to our closing prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you. We thank you for the words that are given to you, each and every one of us, when we need them the most, and Lord, through you each and every moment. Lord, I just want to, I want to thank you, God. I want to thank you, Lord, for, for everything, Lord. Yes. For everything that you do, God, we know it's only you. Yes. You make everything on this earth, Lord. Yes. And we thank you, Lord. Even for the things that we may desire, Lord. Yes. Lord, we thank you for forgiving our sins, Lord. Yes. For resurrecting your child, Lord, and bringing him closer to us, Lord. And yes. for everything that you do, Father. Yes. God, we love you so much. Yes. And we thank you for being our daddy and our yes. father. Because, Lord, nothing else matters, Lord. Not even food or, or man or woman or, or anything, Lord. Everything is because of you. Lord, we thank you for bringing us closer to our brothers and sisters, Lord. For giving us people that are around us, Lord, that surround us with your love, Lord. Lord, we thank you for the ones that have you, Lord. But, Lord, most importantly, Lord, we, we ask that you bring others closer, Lord. Yes. Through it be us, Lord, or through others, Lord. We just yes. want to thank you, God. We want to thank you for mothers that have given birth and given their son to their father, Lord. That have given them to the ch that their, their only child, Lord, to you, Lord. Yes. We thank you for that, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for brothers and, and our sisters that continue to serve you every day, Lord. Yes. And, Lord, we give you all the glory today. All the glory tomorrow, Lord. Yes. And, Lord, we give you everything that we have in our life, Lord. Because it's only you, Father. Yes. And Lord, we thank you for the elders and the children, Lord. Yes. We thank you for their knowledge and their wisdom to do what's right in you, God. Yes. And to serve and, and continue to speak out to those that need, Lord, that they need the needs that they need to do, Lord, every day. Lord, we thank you for letting them speak out, Lord, and give them God. And Lord, we just give you all the glory and our praise, and we thank this. In Jesus Christ's name we all say, loud and proud, Amen. Amen. <laughs> Hit the blue button. Yes.